Brought to you by Kellogg Cereals. The best to you each morning from Kellogg's of Vital Creek. And now let's all play What's My Line? Meet our What's My Line panel. First, the delightful star of stage and television, Miss Arlene Francis. Thank you. And now, a young man who is about to enchant audiences at the Tapanzi Playhouse in Nyack, New York, in Gigi, Mr. George Hamilton. On my left, a woman I adore, but I can safely say she's one of my severest critics, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. And now one of my severest critics, but I adore him, Bennett Cerf. Here's a man who's not only our panel moderator, but Saturday night is going to be one of the big judges at the Miss Universe contest. That famous Indian, Chief Sitting Calf, who has been doing a rain dance all week and has had spectacular results today, with his tomahawk in one hand and a bag of wampum in another, Big Chief John Daly. <laughs> Well, I must say, Ben, it's right that this, at least this part of the thir thirsty Northeast has gotten itself a little water today. We've had some rain practically all day long. And, Bennett, I am going down to uh, Miss Universe, but I'm going to cover it. I'm not going to be a judge. We're going to report it with Sally Ann Howes and Pat Boone and Jack Linkletter are going to John, do the John, I must tell you, the, there are a lot of big brass here tonight from the 42nd Rainbow Division. And uh, they are all wishing they could be in your place, several oh. of them told me. I must say that I think they have enough honor being members of that great division, the 42nd. But uh, next Saturday night at 10 o'clock, if you want to be jealous, Bennett, just watch Miss Universe. And uh, Mr. Hamilton, it's nice to see you on the panel. We had nice you to be here. It's the first time over... I've ever been a panelist. I know. We had you here as a guest only a few weeks ago. Well, relax and have a good time. That's the main thing to do. We've got some interesting occupations, which you'll find incredibly easy to identify. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, we'll also have a famous mystery guest before my friends on the panel a little bit later in the program. We'll meet our first challenger after this. And now to meet our first challenger. Will you enter and sign in, please? Nancy Moses. Right, ma'am? <laughs> Is it uh, Miss or Mrs. Moses? Mrs. Mrs. Moses, where are you from? Ocala, Florida. Ocala, Florida. Yes, sir. Nice to have you with us, Thank Mrs. You. Moses. May I present the panel? Now, would you join me over here and we'll let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. <laughs> All right. Panel, we'll tell you that Mrs. Moses is salaried and deals in a service, and we'll begin the general questioning with uh, Bennett Cerf. Mrs. Moses, what part of Florida is Ocala in? It's in the center of the state. Is that in the orange country? Yes. Have you got anything to do with raising things? No, sir. That's what <laughs> my discretion. I know Ocala, Mrs. Moses, and I'm crazy about it. Thank you. It's not far from Silver Springs, right? Right. Um, do you have anything to do with a nonprofit organization? No. Two down date to go, Mr. Hamilton. Are people better off physically after they've uh, been involved with you? <laughs> no. I don't think so, George. Three down and seven to go. Miss Kilgallen. Uh, 
Mr. Mrs. Moses, do you work uh, in conjunction with anything that might be a tourist attraction? Something that if I were to visit Ocala, I would like to see. Sometimes. Yeah, I would Sometimes. say. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Uh, would this be something out of doors? Yes. Uh, can you also work indoors? Yes. Do you, in fact, do some of your work indoors? Yes. And both men and women can enjoy what you do? Yes. There was a great laugh uh, at something about being physically better off. Uh, do you uh, encourage people, or uh, does your service encourage people to do something that we don't ordinarily do every day? No. Nope. Four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Mrs. Moses, uh, does, does any of your activity take place on, near, or under the water? No. Five down and five to go, Miss Francis. Can men and women both avail themselves of your services? Yes. Is there something pleasurable about what you do? Yes. Would it be considered entertainment, either from a sports angle or from just a pure performing angle? Yes. Do you wear something other than ordinary dress when you perform this service? Yes. <laughs> you do. <clears throat> they laughed at as though it were a G-string, oh, but I know that's not it. <laughs> Maybe she's on the mat. Uh, what? No conference has been called. <laughs> Is your activity, however, uh, within the uh, circumference of Ocala and, and Silver Springs? You, are, you do work in that area? No. Oh, that's you don't? Six down and four to go, Mr. Hamilton. Do you have any... Uh, Special, is it necessary for any special training for your, your line of work? Yes. Do you wear a uniform or something like a uniform? Yes. Uh, there's a costume involved. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bennett may have been right. This, um, <laughs> too good for him. this costume, is, is, is it in the form of a bathing suit? No. At seven down and three to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, may I rule out, Mrs. Moses, that it is a skimpy costume of any kind? Yes, she may rule out. Uh, in other words, it is really a uniform which conceals most of you, as much as a dress would. Yes. If I saw the costume, would it help me to guess what you do? Mm, not specifically. No. Not specifically. I would, if, with Mrs. Moses' permission, we will agree that if you were to see her dressed, it might be one of the areas that your mind would go to, but we would not suggest to you at the same time that it would specifically tell you. Is it a protective uniform? Yes. Do you do something that men can do too? Yes. Would you say, in fact, that there are more men doing what you do than there are women? Probably. Probably. Mm. Yes. Uh, do you use any instruments or any anything that is more elaborate than a pen or pencil in your work? Yes. Do you apply these to something or somebody? No. no, I don't think we could say that. That's eight down and two to go, Mr. Sir. Mrs. Moses, is your uh, activity done with other people? You in the form that? of a team or squad? Well, we would agree yes. other people have to work with you, right? Right, mm -hmm. yes. Is there a ball of any kind used in the activity that you perform? <laughs> oh, Bennett, I knew you were going to ask that. No, that's right. Nine down and one to go, Miss Francis. I may uh, gather from that that we have ruled out baseball and such outdoor sports. Yes. Do you have, uh, have anything to do with something that might be called entertainment from a park point of view? or an entertainment area point of view? Yes. Mm -hmm. Would it be something that... Oh, we've only got one more to go, haven't we? Would, it, would you like a conference? No, dear. 
Uh, I'm hanging on my own, right? Someone says you haven't gotten into skating, we haven't gotten into surface stuff. No conference was called. Yes, we yes did. Darling, did. I, I just said we've only got a... Well, I haven't visit. given any conference, and all the oh, conferences oh. are given from right here, and there ain't going to be none. I thought we'd have <laughs> Is what you do ever done in an amusement park or amusement area? Yes. How about that? <laughs> no. Do you yourself perform? Yes. With all your clothes on? Yes. Protective clothes on. Is what you do, or would it possibly be dangerous for somebody to do it that wasn't uh, knowing? Yes. Are you therefore shot out of a cannon or do you... <laughs> that was a lovely guess. That's going over because if our good audience hadn't reacted to being shot out of a cannon, and we would that's probably... That's right, because Dorothy said it. That's Yo, the coolest that's right. audience I've ever seen. Actually, Mrs. Moses is really Mrs. Zucchini. It's Mrs. Nancy Moses Zucchini, but we couldn't tell you that name because that would have given it all away. And right now, Indeed. Mrs. Zucchini and her husband are both at the Flor Florida Pavilion at the World's Fair, outside the pavilion, right. and they give uh, two performances. I knew she wasn't Mrs. Today. Robert Moses. I mean, he's been <laughs> shot out of a few things, too. <laughs> you know, John, uh, very few ladies of Mrs. Moses' caliber. <laughs> Just in case 99% of you missed that, as you should have repeated, Bennett. I wouldn't dream of it. He wouldn't dream. <laughs> Very few ladies of Mrs. Moses' caliber, he said. Caliber can, you know. Oh, man, this, this hot summer <laughs> doing terrible things. How fast are you going when you come out of that barrel? Around 125 miles an hour. 125 miles an hour. That's well, speed. thank you for coming to see us, and I hope you... Uh, Come Thank a little you. slower all the time. <laughs> Thank you very we much. We had fun. We nearly stuck the back. <laughs> and now, let's meet our second challenger. Will you enter and sign in, please? Al. Right, sir? All right. Uh, Mr. Sipe, where are you from? Santa Monica, California. Santa Monica, yes. California. May I uh, present the uh, panel, Mr. Sipe? Now, would you join me over here, sir? And we'll let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. We'll tell you that Mr. Sipe is salaried and deals in a product. And I think we'll put you back to work, Arlene Francis. Well, Mr. Sipe, you have a wonderfully jolly expression. Thank you. Is there something about your product that would give pleasure? Yes, it would. Is it a product that I might use? Yes, very much so. And the men on the panel might use it, too? I think they might, yes. Is it a product I could hold in my hand? Yes. In fact, if I use the product, is that what I would have to do, hold it in my hand? Yes, you would have to. Uh, is it a product that is not put into the mouth? That is correct. Is it used out of doors? Yes. Is there something sportsmanlike or fun-like about this product? Sportsmanlike or fun-like about the product itself? I think we would have to say no to that. That's nine down and one to go, Mr. Hamilton. Is it, however, when used and held in the hand, does, is, it a, is it used in, or applied to the body? Yes. Uh, is, it, is it a, a product which is uh, decorative? Yeah, not decorative. Nope. Two down, eight to go, Miss Kilgallen. Therefore, Mr. Sipe, is it useful? If yes. I went and bought this, it would be to use. Yes. Is it, is it consumable? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and it would be applied to the body. 
Is it applied to the body more in the summer than in the winter? Mm, I would say so, yes. Mm -hmm. Is it um, liquid rather than solid? Mm, oh, uh, is it sort of creamy? Sometimes, sometimes, yes. Mm -hmm. Like something that could come in a tube and be squeezed out? Mm, sometimes, or in a jar sometimes, yes. And mm -hmm. scooped out? Sometimes, sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, would people use it at the beach? Mm, they could, yes. Mm. You said it wasn't edible. Uh, well, is it some sort of a suntan lotion? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Seif <laughs> sells suntan or copper tone suntan products. Oh, you yeah. were giving me such Jeez, expressions, suntan, John. Copper. I thought I was so far wrong. Well, that's what I was trying to do, was to persuade you. you well, so you far darn near succeeded. <laughs> no, the thing, you'd driven us to such a corner when you were asking whether it was creamy and it was, it was because it's all these things. Well, I was willing for it to be anything as long as I could get a yes. Do we make it in spray and cream and lotion and tube and bottle and so forth? It has, if I may say so, yeah. sir, it has one of the cutest advertisements, you, you know, I've ever seen that the little youngster who's got the scent. Yes, I think darling. it makes you laugh inside every time you see it. Well, I'm afraid that they got on summer they and got on the outdoors much too quickly for our good taste. But then, thanks very much. Nice to have had you as our guest. Pleasure. Tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first, here is a word from us. And now the special feature of our program, for which my friends in the panel are always blindfolded, as you know, blindfolds in place, panel? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Good. Will you enter, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? we have a different form of questioning. One question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise. And we will begin with Dorothy Kilgallen. Are you a beautiful motion picture actress? <laughs> no. 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 One down and no. nine to go, Mr. Sir. Are you, in fact, not a female at all, but a male? <laughs> Miss Francis? Yes. It's a male? Yeah. <laughs> Is it a male that uh, performs sometimes in the musical field? Sometimes. Breathless male. That's the best kind. <laughs> Hamilton, are you uh, seen on television a lot? Two down and eight to go, Mr. Is that a no? That was a no. You, your question was, are you seen on television a lot? And the answer was no. Did you ever have the presidential suite at a Detroit hotel when I had the governor's suite? <laughs> what? Three down, no. No? Three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. Well, you, you got an enormous ovation when you came in. Uh, Naturally. Did... <laughs> Did you, did you once be, were you once a great star in television? <laughs> what happened? What? That was uh, yes. We can't hear any, we can't yes, hear the yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Mm hmm Miss Francis. Do you play a musical instrument? No. That's four down and six to go, Mr. Hamilton. Are you a comedian? Yes. Is, Mr. Your, is your wife's first name Ruth? Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> Milty. Milton Bird? <laughs> Oh, 
That was fun. You should, he got right up out of his chair when you said, well, you once a big star of television. Were you, you once a publisher? We, <laughs> that was fun. because we, well, we did say he wasn't on television now. That's right. Well, he, I did say I said I wasn't on television a lot. A that's, lot now. Just, that's how we could give that no, answer there, you see. You know what he signed in as when he came in? The king? No. <laughs> so, That's how I think Sophia Lauren. Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was going to give it all away anyway. You know, you were up in uh, uh, the Concord Hotel. The Concord last yeah, night, read yeah. A bit. Read in the papers, you're going to do a lot more television, which we hope is Well, uh, starting in September this coming fall, I'll be on about nine shows, four on this network. For the first time, I'll be on the Ed Sullivan Show. I'll be appearing with Lucy, Red Skelton, Slattery's People. I'll also be on the Hollywood Palace. So I'll be kind of busy with the Dean Martin show, sounds, too. Sounds like the good old days are coming back. Yeah. And we mean the good old days. Well, Mr. Television, Lord. Go back to What is it, Dottie? You going back? I was going to say, when John said Mr. Television, I think we're all on now because you were on first. Well, thank you very you much. You sold Dottie. all those sets. Thank you very much. Well, when I was on, uh, they did sell a lot of sets. My uncle sold his. <laughs> my aunt sold hers. Uh, how, long are you, how long are you going to stay? I'm just going to stay a few days, then I'm going back. I'm starting a new picture uh, uh, for Joseph Levine. It's uh, my first dramatic part in a, uh, in a motion picture. I've done a lot of dramatic. You straight, 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 straight part, yeah. Straight it's called the Oscar. Part. It's called oh, the Oscar. Great. Richard Sales book, and it's for Paramount and for Joseph Levine. Wonderful. So uh, I'll have a lot of work on my hands. Well, what kind look... of a part are you going to do, Melody? I play the part of an agent, the Hollywood agent. It's the fight over the Oscar. It'll be a straight part, something like my early comedy shows. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, an honest agent? An honest agent? Well, you, all, you know all the crooked ones, Bennett. Let me... Uh... <laughs> This is a kind of an honest age. It's kind of a sympathetic part. Stephen Boyd is the star of the picture. And El Elkie Summers, Tony Bennett, Ernest Borgnine, Jill St. John. Oh, quite a big star Sounds cast. Sounds like quite a cast. Almost uh, as big a cast as that one you had in Mad Mad World. which Incidentally, I saw your mother the other night, George. Are you and right? she looks beautiful. She told me to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's wonderful to hear that you're going... I'm sorry, George. What you know, is it? We're neighbors. He's always taking things down. I take his trash out for him. To oh, for him. And he goes over and borrows cups of things right. from your mother. I don't borrow too. cups. If he had some jokes, I'd borrow them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've said it before, and I will say it again. Uh, this is wonderful news, that you're going to start getting busier than a one-armed paper hanger Well, now, again. Uh, now I'm in a different position now, John, uh, than I used to be on television. Thank goodness the other network, the National Broadcasting Company, rewrote, uh, <laughs> rewrote the contracts, and I'll be able to appear on different networks now. And it'll be a great, great kick again. Well, it's good for all of us, and thanks for having us. God John. Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Rather well so far tonight, panel. We'll all be back after this word. Well, George Hamilton, it's been nice to have you on the panel. Hope you'll come back again soon. Miss Arlene, I'll miss you next Saturday night, but at 10 o'clock on CBS, you, you watch us this year, if you will. Thank and you, John. I know you'll be glorious. Yeah. I envy your being there. Thank you, Jane. Good, Good night, night, dear boy. Good night, George. That's Vicki Burrell over there. I know. There. I saw her over there. She adorable? Get your eyes off of George. Good night, <laughs> <laughs> Good night, George. Come again. And look, I'm glad you're going to be a regular on this panel. I hope Good so. Good night, Bennett. <laughs> Good night, Bennett. Keep you know, stealing. You don't feel <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Chief. Good night, boss. <laughs> well, I tell you, I've been holding my breath for the last ten minutes anyway, so I can exhale now. Milton, it's wonderful. You look good on panels, so come back and see us again and be on the panel. Just invite me. There'll be a slight charge. Be a slight charge. I was afraid of something like that. And thanks to all of you for being with us on What's My Life.